let's delve into clinical trials explorer dashboard. Here you can see information about data authenticity and that it's up to date. You can see the quick text search for searching uh, the information by keywords. If you're interested in specific phrases, you should type it in quotes. Use advanced filters to refine the data by various categories. You can use inclusion and exclusion um, options. And you can clear all your filters with just one click. The overview page gives you information about the number of cancer trials, the trials that are currently recruiting, the trials that um, are with results posted. The trends charts uh, shows you key dates of the trials, so you can see the number of trials started or uh, completed at specific times. The map and the city chart next to it gives you information give you information about. Uh, locations of uh, trials that are currently recruiting. So you can find the location nearest to you, for example. Uh, below, you can find information about sponsors and phases. Um, you can filter the uh, information by clicking on a chart. So all other charts and the map and the map will be reconfigured accordingly. And the relevant trials will be listed in uh, the trials list. Here you can uh, sort information by date or alphabetically and see the number of uh, PubMed articles associated with each trial. If you click on a trial, you find its timeline, status, short summary, and the list of the articles. If you click on the article, you will see its PubMed page. If you click on view on the clinical trials gov, you will see the clinical trials gov page of the trial. The insights page gives you more detailed information about trials, including uh, cancer type, study status, study type, uh, information about interventions and treatment. Um, participants, um, study documents, and results. You can use our AI assistant uh, that will help you to identify and explore relevant trials in a conversational mode. 